Um, I'm sure three points would have been nice, but but it kind of seemed like a, a nice match for you to have the recognition before the game, and then to get such an exciting equalizer there, kind of at the death. Uh, what were what were your emotions like tonight? I guess. Yeah, no, I was I was definitely excited, uh, especially my my grandma and grandma or my grandma and grandpa flew out, um, which was a surprise. I didn't I didn't expect them to be there, so that's that was an awesome moment for me. Um, and yeah, obviously the three points would have been incredible. I thought we had it there at the end, um, but to, but to score in front of my family it, it, in that fashion was was fun. Can you just take us through the goal <coughs> and uh, what you saw and how it developed? Yeah, well. <sighs> To be honest, I, I had flashbacks because I swear there was a, a play exactly like that a couple games ago, and I hit it over. And I said to myself after the game, if that happens again, I just got to hit it as hard as I can and put it on frame. So that's literally what I was thinking when, when that moment happened and, and put it on frame and then winning the goal. So You're on track for five goals. That was the goal. Still was, the goal. Yeah, right? yeah. Here we go. Fingers crossed. A couple more. Hey, Justin, thank you for your time. Um, obviously, Pablo was talking kind of about the locker room and how at halftime it was, it was pretty quiet. Um, and then post game, it was, it was a very different feeling. Um, this, is your, this is your 201st appearance as a homegrown, first RSL homegrown to be able to, to do that for this team. What does the culmination of this game in front of, you mentioned some of your family, getting the goal, the equalizer, the emotions from this game, what does everything that has to do with, with this game tonight mean for you and for this club? Yeah, um, I mean, for me, it's, it's, a, it's an achievement I'm, I'm super proud of, um, but it's just another, another milestone along the way. You know, um, I'm trying to continue to get 300, get 400, um, but like you said, I, I'm very proud of it. My fam has been there for, for all of it, the ups and downs. Um, you know, it's not always just like this. So they've been uh, incredible. And, and even just the guys on the team, um, really everyone uh, has, has played a huge part in, in my career. So it's been it's been awesome. Um, and, and for tonight, I think it was just massive that we got the result. Obviously, we haven't um, <clears throat> been getting results at home, which is which is disappointing for us, disappointing for our fans. It, it's nice to win on the road, but it's it's a special feeling when you win in front of your, your home fans and, and they get to share in that. Um, so I was happy to get the point, happy to give the fans an exciting game. But at this point, you know, it's, it's still just about keeping that, um, keeping the groove going and keep climbing the table and, and you know, ma making, a, making a run and, and hopefully winning some trophies here. Two goals from Minnesota in the first half, and you guys are down 2-0 at halftime. But in the second half, you looked pretty good defensively, got the, the shutout in the second half. Um, what was it that, that kind of led to the back line's improvement as this game went on? <clears throat> I, think, I think it was not just the back line. I think as a team, there was more, more commitment, more, more willingness to, to run for each other and, and, to, and to get back and make tackles. Um, obviously, as a back line, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's on us if we get scored on. But I thought the, the work in front of us was incredible the second half to, to get back, track back, get their, get their uh, tens running through and, and tracking those runners, which makes our job that much easier. So. Justin, congrats for your score. Uh, mm -hmm. I know, did you score before more goals? And I call so many goals too. But at this point, you say you have your family, you score before. Um, how did you feel? Because <coughs> when I call this game, I call like we won the, the cup or something. Yeah. Did you feel like that? You want to compare this goal with another times? Um. No, I would I would say that was probably my, my favorite goal that I've scored in my career. Um, you know, it's uh, left footed. I had the fam here, 200th game, or celebrating the 200th uh, milestone. Um, so that was that was for sure my favorite goal. So that was just an, an exciting moment for me and, and my family. So. Questions. Uh, Justin. Uh, also, I want to to ask you about you you played for the academy and now Real Salt Lake it's having many other players who also played for the academy like Bodhi Hidalgo and um, Diego Luna. Uh, how do you see the develop of those younger players who are uh, having a good performance in the past few games? 
Yeah, no, it's 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 awesome to see. Um, obviously, the the Salt Lake has done an incredible job with their academy over the years, um, and, and to see these young guys, um, you know, perform and, and get games under the belts and perform at a high level, it, it's always exciting and it shows that it can be done. Um, and and it's uh, for me, I think it's awesome for the club. It's it's awesome to see that that pipeline is still there. Um, and yeah, it. it, it it's exciting for the future as well because that means there's going to be more kids like Bodie, more kids, Gavin Beavers coming up, stepping up and, and, and playing in these big games. Um, so it's it's awesome to see. Anything else? All right. Thank you, guys. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Justin. <coughs>